I apologize if you detect any sickness or if I cough or something like that. I'm terribly sick and I'm getting sicker. I've completely secluded myself in my house for about two weeks now. Be sure to check out my men and women shirt sale going on right now. The more successful it is, the more I can offer and the channel will grow. I'm in a bad situation right now. I won't go into detail right now. I've alluded to it in the past, but it is dire. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shikama. The main reason I haven't given out in any info on the company that builds the $345,000 robot is because I'm not getting paid for it. I assume everyone that asks are just bored, actually. I mean, I told you about my shirt sale, which is only $30, and 45 people clicked on the link, but no one has bought not one. So I'm assuming you just want the $345,000 information just because you're bored and you just want to ask something. I mean, I don't mind comments, but don't then argue with me because there you go. I would think you would be happy knowing that they have made a full functional female robot or cyborg. It's just like the announcement Obama made when he strutted down the hall to the mic and said, we got him. To this day, we have zero details. And in fact, we had army people come out and say it was all a hoax. No report has said my report is a hoax. What I want to do in this video is go over some of the specifications and I will allude to some of the research that has been done to make these specifications a reality. So first I said she serves you drinks and dinner. She goes to the kitchen, gets you a soda or some other drink that you uh, like and brings it to you while you're chilling on the couch watching Game of Thrones. She serves you dinner also the same way or breakfast in bed. Now robots have been doing this now for over a decade now. The whole retrieving the uh, dish, the soda, the whatever. You know, people have trained their dogs to do this, right? She cooks the dinner or makes the breakfast. We've already seen this entire thing in Japan and food service has been automated already for over a, a decade in Japan. Well, it's more than a decade in Japan. Automation has been there uh, for a, a long time, a very long time. They have full restaurants where you go and you simply retrieve a dinner, pay for it and sit down and eat. There's no human involved. Also, lately they did a full service robot hotel. That's right here on YouTube. It's probably right next to my video. She does the dishes. Now, this is super amazing technically speaking i'm going to go over every little detail here this is harder and more technical than you think to bring this about required researchers to get the robot to see this achievement is harder probably than everything else for a robot to see she has to map out everything visually in 3d that's the first step the next step is to put herself in the 3d mapping and physically move in it then she has to be able to determine movable objects. Then she had to move to the object, touch the object and grab the object. And here's the final miracle. Get her to grab the object without destroying the object. They spent a very long time picking up pencils, picking up glass, picking up paper, you know, without suction cups, you know, without something obvious, right? We want it to be human-like. And we want the robot to detect the delicacy of picking up something very delicate, pouring water into a, from one container to the next, and feeling the gravity shift as you pour, and the gravity shift as the liquid goes from one container to the next. And to not overflow the liquid in the second container, right? Think about it. If she's doing the dishes without all of that research, it'd be a bunch of broken, dirty dishes, right? This is Miracle AI all by itself. And it's done. The research is done. Everything is implemented, right? So next, she performs wifely duties, I said. For those to be performed, they took hundreds of inventions in adult toys for men and to the point where they inserted the toys inside of her, which generates a performance most men would never experience. 
the object is to maximize pleasure. So, movement of the robot, of the cyborg, and internal workings molded for maximum pleasure creates something most men will never even dream of or thought possible. Have you ever been with a woman that just lays there? <laughs> I should not laugh, it, it hurts. But wait, the final straw is wifely duties giving the owner a baby. For this, an entirely different biotech industry had to be incorporated. This is really a man-only production of a child. They take the DNA of a man, they process it to release the best DNA for this process. And while they're at it, they make the DNA a superhuman, right? Rendered from the man. And if you want to know, here it is. These cells are then incorporated with the same man's sperm cells and single cells are produced. Guess who has processed this already? China. In fact, all of the American scientists are screaming foul and unfair and that's unethical and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Uh, China has also cured cancer. Oh, really? You didn't hear about that? If you want me to uh, do a report on that, you have to click this like on this uh, video and enough of you have to click like on that video so the rest of you can see the video. You have to, uh, I spoke with YouTube, they said, the robot only shows you videos that you like. So now the like button becomes your thing. If you want to watch all of my videos, you have to click like on all of my videos, otherwise you won't see the video. If you only click on the cyborg videos, you will only be served cyborg videos. That's the new AI of YouTube. And the Americans are trying to shame China, the Chinese over this. However, they've already done it. The next step in the process is to make the cell divide. This is actually easy, but from here you get replicating stem cells that divide until out pops a baby. So getting the cell to divide from a single cell, that's easy. That's easy peasy. Japan has done it. China's done it. I don't know if the United States or Canada has done it. The final thing I mention is talking to you. We have already had many, many examples of this, and this isn't anything even innovative. You speak to the cyborg, and by speaking to her over and over, she learns your personality, what you like for her to say, and therefore she creates her own personality as dictated by you, what you like, what you don't like. So if you're a strict formal man, she becomes your strict formal wife. If you're a sarcastic comic, she becomes a sarcastic comic with you. And she hates all the people you hate. <laughs> now, this AI, of course, has all of the benefits of a smartphone. Finds the best movies you like. Records them for you off of TV. Finds the best restaurant you like. Finds underground raves for you. Do you need a doctor or a hospital? We're on our way, doctor. Let's go watch airplanes take off. It's Tuesday and you need a break from work, honey. It'll take us 15 minutes to get to the observation deck. I laid out your casual clothes for you uh, so you can get out of your work clothes and take a shower. Shall I wash your back for you? Do you want to throw a party? I reserved a caterer for you already, dear. Don't I sound sexy? <laughs> Americans are too scared for all of this. So China and Japan has forged ahead, each outdoing the other. America is left in the dust. Also, since the men of Japan have sworn off women, even though the government is handing out money to get married and have kids, the indoctrination of Japanese women into Western style, these manufacturers have swooped in and seized this opportunity. Here's an extra kick in the skirt. Even married men with children are buying these. And the children are actually welcoming these cyborgs into their home too. Dad, where's Chobits? Oh, she's in the shower, son. She'll come down and watch anime with you after dinner. Do you need more specifications? I can make another video just on specifications if you so choose. Now, I did a couple of videos already talking about real life scenarios that were actually in the news. I even gave the names of the people. You know, I know, I know people just, you know, they're on the internet they're just browsing and they come across me and they said oh uh 
Let, let's prove this guy wrong. It's okay. It's a news report. And what's funny is, I actually get big time periodicals, news, mainstream media contacting me, asking me to do stuff for them. Um, unfortunately, I'm really actually rather lazy or I'm sick. I'm sick all the time. But make sure you like this video. Like, like, like the video. And be, be sure you go and buy at least one of the shirts. I have one that's really cheap over there, so you can take a look at that. You, I need your help. You know, you all don't want to donate to me. Or shall I say, only a few of you want to donate to me. And I appreciate that immensely. I was I was thinking I could get $1,000 a month just out of, off of donations, but for whatever reason, I can't even muster more than 300 I don't get it. I don't understand. And uh, the people that uh, do donate, they do ask questions, I and I do answer them. So I appreciate that. That's at patreon.com slash shikama. So uh, buy, buy something from me. Support the channel. I'll give you all the latest and greatest. Thank you all for watching. And if you're in the, the mood, you can uh, wish me uh, a speedy recovery from being sick. Thank you.